So, dear students, so today we'll be taking chemistry of electronic materials. Okay, so we should have a basics of electrochemistry. We should know what is anode cathode. So, these are the prerequisites. And then also we should know a little bit of polymers and everything. So then it will be easy for us to study this particular chapter. Okay. So just a quick revision. For a, a conductor, semiconductor and insulator. So you can see there is something called conduction band valence band. So the energy gap is zero between the two. Correct. And between conduction band and balance band between the semiconductor it is less than zero. Or we can say less than three electron volt. And conduction band, the energy gap between the conduction band and valence band is greater than zero or more than three electron volt. That is nothing but insulator. Then you write the examples for what conductor, semiconductor, and insulator. Conductor all metals, semiconductor, you know, gallium, or gallium, and uh, whatever materials we use in our phone or whatever it is. And then comes our insulator, that is wood, rubber. So those things. So I'm just going to discuss the most important things here. Then later on the least important ones. So coming to polymers, polymers are nothing but addition of monomers. So that is nothing but polymer. So mainly we know the polythene cover and all we'll use, right? That same thing only. And the problems that they can ask is based on this. That is number average molecular mass, Mn. That is total mass of all the molecules with total number of molecules. And we can see here N1, M1. Correct? Yes. That is M is nothing but the molecular mass or relative formula mass. Then weight average. Okay. So that is nothing but what ratio of products of total mass of the groups of molecules with total mass of all molecules. These two things. Then we got poly disparate index. So that is meaning is, for example, it is nothing but the molecular species having different sizes, right? So that is this is basically what the molecular, what weight, right? The average molecular weight to the average molecular mass ratio. It should be greater than one. So which means it is greater than poly disparity. And numericals are the most easiest in this. Okay. So coming to this particular question, in a sample of a polymer, 100 molecules having molecular mass, 10 cube grams per mole, 200 mole uh, molecules. So the question, you can read it. Okay, you can pause and you can read that question first. So simple thing, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply the formula. Okay, so first is 100 molecules. Correct? Yes. N1, M1. 100 and M1 is what? 10 cube gram per mole. Again, we should know the relationship between what number of moles, molecular mass, and what weight. That is number of moles or molecular mass is what basically gram per mole. So we should have a proper idea about what is the units and where to use it. So if you don't know that thing, then we have to go back to our class 12 and go through those chapter called solutions. Or class 11th, first chapter, some basic principles of chemistry. So which is there in the channel. So now coming to this, N1, M1 plus N2, M2 will be giving total of this. By N1 plus N2, add everything, I'll be getting one answer. Correct? That is nothing but what the number average. Then I will be getting the weight average, that is MW. Same thing, I'm just squaring. N1, M1 square plus M2, M2 square, so on. So I am going to do this also. Only three are there, so that's it. And PDI, the poly disparity index. Just divide MW by MN, 1.81. So obviously it is greater than 1. So it shows that it is having poly disparity. So similarly for the next question also. Okay, same thing I have to do. Only the numbers are changed. Same thing for all the questions. Polymers, as I already told you, it is nothing but addition of monomers. In this, the most important thing is this reaction. Acetylene, in presence of the catalyst, heptane, correct? 
and this particular thing is called sigler nata sigler nata catalyst okay this is either this or this you can write we will get polyacetylene n meaning poly this is one acetylene if, without writing n it is just acetylene triple bond hc triple bond ch it is acetylene n meaning n number of acetylene will give polyacetylene and we just remember the catalyst name sigler nata catalyst any doubt is just refer the pdf mechanism of conduction polyacetylene this is very very important and this is nothing but the first oxidation that is loss of electrons correct second oxidation second electrons will be lost polyacetylene will go to form po polar on then bipolar on then the real arrangement the solid then we will draw this also conduction band conduction band valence band and everything this is very very important for us to get the full mark this they can ask then coming to graphene oxide okay so one second for this sorry i got a call yeah graphene oxide yes so graphene oxide is a thing but it is formed by the oxidation of graphene okay so it contains oh is hydroxyl group alkoxy coc group and carbonyl and carboxylic acid group and it has got all the oxygen based functional group as you can see here and you can see the separated here it is not as closely bound as graphene see the graphene oxide so it is having van der waal forces or london forces that is nothing but the weakest force okay and as you can see here a double bond is there right double bond shows sp2 hybridization triple bond sp hybridization so double bond meaning what hybridization is having sp2 this is in synthesis which you have to read and write then the properties obviously graphene oxide it's an oxy it's formed by oxidation of graphene so it will be having what a low electrical conductivity yes and it is having strong hydrogen bonds compared to that of graphenes and see surface area is also larger so those are the important physical properties application electroplating we can use then uh, it is used in what solar cells led okay and again in capacitor power banks then most of the electrical appliances we can use it then again in uh, this one what is it uh, fission nuclear fission reaction also we will be using it then coming to the metal finishing there is electroless plating so electroless plating is nothing but what deposition of a metal from its salt solution over a catalytically cat catalytically alkyl surface by suitable reducing agent without using electrical energy reducing agent in the sense it will reduce that particular compound that is called reducing agent okay so this diagram is very very important for that and you can see here the electroless plate of copper to prepare pcb what and all is required so the most important thing here you can see is what these particular things are actually required copper copper will copper ions will take the electrons to form what copper metal then hcho the basic aldehyde with what oh minus this is the hydroxyl group will give me two hco minus the ions and water and other it will release the electron this electron is only taken by this particular copper then overall cell reaction this electron and electron will get cancelled all other thing is yeah. so the basic hco is called the, the basic aldehyde is called formaldehyde or methanol also we will say then the process so you have to draw the diagram and you can write this in your own words so that's it and table also you have to buy hot and keep so any doubt is there once this video you watched you can ask me during the class time thank you